Now the latest from the Northeast Caribbean, where Irma hit hardest. Thousands of people are still desperate for help on St. Martin and Anguilla. We get more from Alex Thompson of Independent Television News. The jetty's broken on this Anguilla beach. Most pumps are wrecked, so you fill up by hand. But as we do, people arrive desperate to help their families over in St. Martin. It's not good news what we're hearing about St. Martin. So it's about getting my family over here right now. The British Anguillans keep saying that French Saint Martin up ahead was far worse hit, but the French government responded quicker. We want to find out. Approaching Saint Martin, the waterside concrete buildings gutted, as if some passing army has done its worst and moved on. The entire green forest slopes burned brown by blown seawater, every leaf stripped by Irma's passing. And as ever, the poorest get hit hardest. Yeah, what's the biggest problem? I'm living there. You live in there? I was. You was. What are you going to do? What can I do? Nothing. Are you getting help? How? The government? What? We don't know. I cannot tell you nothing. I don't know nothing yet. For now, Francisco sleeps at a friend's. His shock, bewilderment, a week on, mirrored everywhere here. But here in the poorer, low-lying suburbs of San Martin, the damage is worse because of two factors. First, the eye of the hurricane pushed over this whole area, which means they were hit by extreme winds from one direction, then a pause, a calm, then extreme winds from the opposite direction. But not only that, this low-lying area close to the sea was also demolished by a sea surge at least a metre deep. The brutal calling card of the surge and tsunami everywhere here. Cars cast about randomly by the water, then garlanded with debris. At the town's tennis court, Thomas Urisha's vehicles, taken without consent by the joyriding Caribbean, then dumped. Tell me, what's the most, your biggest problem right now? My bigger problem is snow. So that's my van to walk. Right. You know how about that van? I know can walk. Right. No Only, van, no business. No business. Everything done. All my materials inside my van, all the things damaged. Some yeah. might laugh at the playthings of the rich smashed by Hurricane Irma. Smirk at the even bigger playthings of the even richer also dispatched. Except, like the wrecked hotels, these represent jobs lost for local people who are not wealthy and depend on tourism. Not quite so amusing, but rightly not part of the clear-up priority. The damage on Saint Martin is way worse than Anguilla, but the scale of the French response is frankly startling. French warships patrol against piracy and secure their marine frontiers. You don't see British warships doing that. The French energy giant, EDF, everywhere, trenching cables, we saw no major British power company on Anguilla. Roads long since reopened, even bridge railings patched up. And already a vast operation to dump the contents of a shredded town and the plant to do it. Nothing on this scale in Anguilla. And yes, people have noticed. For now it's okay, now they start to clean the place, after they clean the place, you know, no, maybe today they open the gas station. Just start coming in like the water, yeah. but no food yet. But um, I think it will come. The evidence of a different approach is all around you. This isn't scientific, but on Saint Martin, we couldn't find anybody who felt the French government had done too little too late. On British Anguilla, with half the damage, it's hard to find anybody who doesn't feel that.